want him out of commission. But Sensei, I can beat this guy. I don't want him beat. But I'll be disqualified. Out of commission. Hey, let's watch the control, gentlemen. Hey. Forgive me, Father. For what? First thing I want to ask you is, how did it feel reuniting with the cast after all these years? Um, well, the thing about that is we've been friends all these years. So oh. reuniting felt like oh it's just another uh, Christmas party <laughs> you know um, you know Billy Zapka Marty Marty Cove um, myself Tony O'Dell Tony O'Dell and I have traveled to Costa Rica and to Hawaii together and we Billy's one of my best friends and you know we've been we've been um, you know at Christmas parties and weddings and funerals and vacations and weekend get-togethers and whatever. We've been doing that for 35 plus years now. So when we get together to work though, it's, it's, it just brings back that little extra magic that we had when we were doing the Karate Kid. You know, that's just that um, I, it's hard to describe the feeling, but when you're doing what you love to do and you're doing it with people you love, you know, it's, it's an amazing feeling. So to get back in front of the camera and you know, reinvent our character, not reinvent, but reignite those characters in front of the camera after all these years, that definitely added a little bit of magic to the whole experience for sure. Uh, it definitely did because I, you know, after Karate Kid, I was, I always thought, what happened to them? I wonder how they would be as adults. And I'm sure you guys were probably, when you guys got together laughing and joking about, hey, what have we got together? I mean, how did it all come together? And so for me, when I saw, you know, Johnny, the way he was, Daniel, it was just like, first it was just like, oh my God, I love these guys. They're so funny. You know, it's, it's like, it's so realistic. It's so reality yeah. driven and it's so funny. So when you guys were hanging out, did you guys talk a lot about getting together? I mean, who finally like spearheaded that and got that going? Well, the writers got that going, you know, the creators of the new show, Cobra Kai, um, Hayden Schlossberg and John Hurwitz and, and Josh Heald, they certainly had been planning our reunion for a long time, you know, as they were planning this whole new Cobra Kai adventure and where are they now and what they, what are they up to? They'd been planning this reunion. They were just waiting for the right time to insert us original Cobras into the show for that, you know, that special uh, reunion. Um, so it's, like I said, it's something they've been planning. They were fans of the movie like you, you know, for all of these years. And um, they really, really wanted to do something with Karate Kid. They just didn't know how to do it, I guess, until, Obviously, they put it all together and now they definitely know what they're doing and know how to do what it is they're doing. But uh, yeah, they initiated it. They called me. They said, you know, this has been years and years and years in the making. Um, and here's what we have planned for Bobby, you know, and um, and now he's a pastor, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> yeah. I, I love Bobby. Yeah. Let's get him up. In the original movie, you seem to show the most sympathy to Daniel, um, and then shown the last two times on the Halloween dance where you and Johnny uh, and the rest of the Cobra Kai chase Daniel and during the tournament. Did that character have anything to do with the Bobby becoming pastor in Cobra Kai? That compassion? Yeah, I think it did. I think that in their minds, you know, they, you know, if I was the writer, I don't know that I would have written Bobby as a pastor. I, I probably wouldn't have thought of that. I'm a motivational speaker in, in real life also. So I kind of thought, well, once I knew I was coming back and before I had the call with those guys, I was thinking, what would Bobby be doing? Maybe he's an orthopedic knee surgeon <laughs> specializing in knees. And that's his way of, you know, of repenting for what he did to Daniel. Or maybe he's a motivational speaker. Um, 
and maybe he's working with any inner city children, you know, as, and, and giving them the martial arts experience, creating a dojo for, you know, not for profit, but just to, and I thought of all these things, what would Bobby be doing? And then they said he was a pastor. <laughs> it was okay. That's, th that's definitely a genius. And it's definitely, definitely in line with Bobby's character of always trying to steer people in the right direction. And even though he's a conflicted pastor, you know, cause he's not opposed to going out and getting in a bar brawl with his buddies and drinking a few beers, <laughs> but um, you know, so I think it's genius that they made him a pastor and, and it definitely stems from the original character of Bobby being the good guy out of the mm -hmm. bad guys and always knew when the line was being crossed and always tried to pull his friends, you know, like Johnny back, you know, leave him alone, man. He's had enough. That's it. The line this we're crossing the line here. So stuff. Yeah. Um, in terms of the Cobra Kai stuff. So, um, you know, do you, do you like do the, the do the, the, does the young, Yes, when they come in, do you guys, are they like totally into with you guys? Are you guys teaching them the ropes? You know, do, have they seen Karate Kid when it, that the young cast? I mean, they, in a lot of ways, it's similar to the struggles, you know, that you guys had in Karate Kid. And so now that you guys are the older, you know, adults and you guys have been through it, you know, how's that been? Yeah, it's uh, definitely interesting. I haven't had a chance to talk to any of them about how they feel about it. I've listened to a few of their interviews. Um, where, you know, they didn't really know who Ralph Macchio was, <laughs> who the Karate Kid is, you know, they had to kind of do their own research. <laughs> um, and, and which is, you know, interesting in and of itself, right? And then all of a sudden, once they find out, wow, this is an iconic film, yeah. you know, and, and now they're working with these iconic actors who created those characters. Um, I think, you know, I think it's a little surreal for them as well. Um, and they're all very talented young actors. Man, they're really, really good. Um, so props to uh, casting. They did a really good job, you know. But, um, I, yeah, it's, it's weird how it's – well, it's not weird. I'm sure it's by design how those characters are, are experiencing the same sort of stuff that we did um, and maybe pushing it a little, a, a little even <laughs> – a little further, you know. Yeah, it's definitely a 21st century uh, type. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah. So it's uh, really cool. Yeah, I, I always, always wondered that about that. And I was thinking, like, for me, it's just, like I said, it's just like a dream come true to see, you know, something like that. You don't see that often. There's so many movies and films out there that are iconic. You know, they've got a huge cult following. And you're just always hoping that they, you know, get back together. And yeah. so when you guys did get back together and it just blew up like crazy. How yeah. Are you expecting that? I don't think so. I think, you know, it's, it, it's, it was a risk for sure. What they did could have gone the other way, you know, it could have gone south. And, mm -hmm. you know, the creators told me they did, they're doing everything very intentionally and by design, and they're really going through their choices of what, when they're reinsert, reinserting an old character from the past, does it make sense? Does it not make sense? Because they do not want to be, and this is their words, we do not want to be the guys who effed up the Karate Kid <laughs> franchise. <laughs> we're, we do not want that label on, attached to us. And so they were very careful, but they were also risk takers. Because like I said, it could have gone the other way. I think when it first came out, there was a lot of chatter through social media, like this is just going to suck. Um, it's just can't work. You know, these guys are too old. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all of that stuff. And then, you know, when you're, when you're entrepreneurialism or actors or any, anything, when you take a risk and you do it intelligently, it, you know, there's a risk reward payoff and this one paid off big time, you know, so you know, kudos to those guys. Yeah, I am thrilled. And I know that uh, you can't give away any spoilers or anything like that. But I mean, are we gonna maybe see Bobby again? <laughs> um, no, the, the, it's, it's, it's interesting with social media, how mm -hmm. these creators and producers want to take care of the fans. Mm -hmm. And they don't want spoilers out there. Yeah. They don't want leaks. 
they made sure that we understood that when we went back there that stay off your social media you can't you know this has to be a surprise for them and it worked like i got once the episode the first you know in season two came out i got so much social media like oh my god when you guys showed up i literally jumped off my sofa i was crying <laughs> that was you <laughs> so you know they they take care of their fans and so knowing about social media and knowing all that stuff they even keep a lot of stuff from the actors mm. until it's like on a need to know basis and when you need to know is you know you need to <laughs> figure out your travel plans and, and here's your script and um you know so it's kind of like a last minute thing when they inform the actors of what's really happening I love oh. that. I love that. And I love that you mentioned that, you know, after you appeared on an episode, your social blew up because I was thinking about that. I was like, like, how are uh, all the other guys? How are they? Uh, I mean, they must be experiencing like a huge wave, like a, another tsunami of like crazy social media people following them. I mean, it's become yeah. so huge. I mean, everybody I talk to, they're like, yeah, Cobra Kai, Cobra Kai. It's yeah, it's awesome. insane. You know, yeah, it's I, you know, and I was having dinner with Billy and, and um, I just, it was just he and I talking, you know, like I said, we're good friends. And, and I'm, I, I'm like, have you gotten your head around what has happened here? What's going on? Cause I can't quite grasp. I can't quite grasp it. And he just said, it's a miracle. 